Saturday marks one year since the Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. And today, a new ad campaign in Georgia highlights that controversial case in our state and around the country. The timing is no coincidence. It also coincides with the election season and as Georgia sorts out its own laws. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon is live in Atlanta with how this issue could work its way into the spotlight come next year. Doug. Yeah, good evening to you both. It already is. The Democratic National Committee has already spent six figures here in Georgia and has done the same in other key battleground states, even this far out on things like billboards, TV and radio and social media ad spots. They aren't shying away from the issue of abortion because they know it's one that really energizes their base. On your next drive, you may catch an ad like this flash across that billboard on the side of the road. Same goes for the next time you watch TV or log onto social media. I'm the one that got rid of Roe v. Wade. The media campaign is part of the Democratic National Committee's six-figure ad blitz in Georgia and other battleground states to keep abortion in the spotlight. There's still an ongoing fight over Georgia's six-week limit on abortion known as the heartbeat ban. The state Supreme Court heard arguments less than three months ago as the fight continues. I am exhausted in this moment. I am tired of all the ways that we have had to prove our humanity. The idea behind the DNC's media blitz is to energize Democratic voters ahead of the 2024 election. It's an issue people care deeply about, with almost 70 percent of Georgians in favor of abortion, according to the ACLU. But with Roe overturned, pro-life groups aren't letting off the pedal either. It's very encouraging that people are having the conversation and the discussion is out there. Zemi Fleck is executive director of Georgia Right to Life. She knows that even with this weekend marking a hugely encouraging win for pro-life groups, abortion will still be a galvanizing issue at the polls next year. I believe that it's a good thing because, again, it gets people talking about the issue. It doesn't just sweep things under the rug. And so I do believe that it will be a very critical issue. And Georgia Right to Life has two pieces of legislation, a House bill and a House resolution that carried over from last session. Both of them would grant personhood to unborn children. We'll keep an eye on those. But for now, we're live in downtown Atlanta. Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First. All right.